About 25 minutes now after 8 o'clock here at Ontario Morning. Last Friday night in Barrie, a sold-out crowd at the Imperial Theatre gave a new movie a standing ovation. And no, it wasn't the latest Harry Potter. It was Walking Among the Dead, a film that took six years to make, but only 5000 bucks. The directors call it a no-budget film, an exercise in guerrilla filmmaking. Jonas von Zeschwitz is the co-director of Walking Among the Dead, and he's on the line with us for a quick chat. Good morning. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm good. Listen, where'd you get this idea to make a no-budget zombie movie? Uh, well, me and uh, my best friend, Mickey Cardoni, who's also my partner at She Died Productions, uh, we've been doing videos ever since we were, like, 14 years old. And um, so after high school, I went to film school, and uh, one day in 2004, he called me up with a brilliant idea for a zombie flick. Uh, something that we had wanted to do uh, for a long time, and it was the right idea. So uh, I jumped on board, and uh, we've been doing it ever since. So, so what what made Walking Among the Dead a guerrilla film, so to speak? Uh, well, it was a lot of things. I mean, for one thing, there was no budget whatsoever. It was really whatever money was in our pockets or whatever we could um, bum off our friends. And... Um, you know, it was anything from shooting in underground storm drains, gaining access with carjacks, uh, to shooting without permits, and um, all that fun stuff, you know. I, 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 I saw the little air quotation marks when you said fun there. So uh, I've got to, <laughs> did you have any uh, close calls? This sounds like kind of a risky way to make a movie. It's extremely risky. It's uh, Walking Among the Dead is sort of uh, how to... Uh, how not to make a feature film <laughs> in that um, it's uh, extremely illegal, a lot of the things that we did, and we paid the price. How so? Like, tell, um, t- tell me some of the incidents. One time we were, you know, doing a fake head chopping scene in someone's backyard. We had full permission to be there, but uh, somebody called the cops, and they sort of uh, showed up uh, with shotguns drawn on us, and uh, there was another time when we uh, got well, Hold it. They actually arrived with guns drawn? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we were shooting this uh, fake torso that we built around uh, um, a broomstick, and we were cutting this fake head off it repeatedly with uh, a machete. And then this cruiser shows up, and the two cops come out, and you hear the, oh. you know, the typical sound, and they creep very silently around the far side of the house that we were at and came out with them pointed at our heads. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was definitely one of the scarier times that we had. Tell me you filmed it. Uh, we got a little bit of it. Um, the The officers were adamant that we didn't use that footage, but... It was kind of blurry, so we might be able to get away with it on the DVD. So any other close calls as you were being, uh, making a film uh, verite, as it were? Um, yeah, I mean, later that day we were shooting in the sewers, and uh, we heard from people in the neighborhood that the cops were looking for us outside there. There was another time we had a gun call because we had, we had a replica gun on the streets of Barrie, and somebody spotted it, and uh, about 10 minutes once we were off the location, about 10 squad cars showed up, and somehow they tracked one of our actors down to his uh, work. Uh, he's a bartender. Shook him down at work the, the whole nine yards. So uh, well, You know what, Jonas? I think this isn't so much guerrilla filmmaking as renegade filmmaking. I'm surprised you guys have survived to tell the tale. Yeah, well, I think I think in some ways we wouldn't have been able to pull it off in Toronto because it's such a film town that the cops are kind of pretty well-versed uh, on this uh, t- type of thing and probably would have shut it down a lot quicker. But we kind of slipped between the cracks because, uh, you know, you deal with one officer here, one officer there, and you'd piece it together over time. And, uh, you know, no one was wiser. So <laughs> so what, what, are you, if you got any more work uh, uh, planned? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, once we have this crazy month, we have a lot of uh, events happening in very this month. But once we're done that, uh, we're going to continue on and start writing our next feature. But uh, in the meantime, we have a very active YouTube channel, and we've been doing uh, weekly web posts, everything from music videos to uh, short comedy and things like that. So we've maintained uh, a lot of activity. Now, if people were interested in uh, seeing uh walking among the dead for themselves how can they uh at the moment we're preparing the dvd for sale so uh it'll probably be about a month or two before it'll be available uh through amazon is that right eh? 
Well, that'll be a very interesting exercise. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I hope your mom's not listening. Oh, no, my mom's very proud. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> That's a great story, Jonas. Thank you very much. I wish we had a little more time. All right. Take care. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye now. I was speaking with Jonas von Zeschwitz. Uh, he's the co-director of the new zombie flick, a gorilla film, Walking Among the Dead. That's it for Tuesday's Ontario Morning. Uh, for John Lewis, I'm Mike Ewing, sitting in for Wei Chen. Hope to talk to you tomorrow.